Welcome back to yet another YouTube video. It is your girl Lin Wei, and there's absolutely no way without going through the way. So before we go any further, notice the difference of this resolution and notice the difference of the mic on me. This is gonna be a serious video and you need to hear this. Okay, so as already stated in the title, this is gonna be advice to all the matriculates out there, each and every single one of you, those that passed and those that didn't. So I'm gonna start firstly with those that did not make the cut. I just want to let you know that academic excellence is really not the measure of life and there's so many other things that you can do, whether you are talented in something, whether you just go ahead and learn hands-on, do internships and get into work, there are very various options of what you can do with your life outside of not passing metric it is not the end of the world everybody obviously has been pressuring you and everybody says oh you just should just finish your degree whatever do your your studies and what and and whatnot but if it is not your line of excellence or like where god was calling you to there's other things that you can get into you can pursue like different careers whether in art whether in writing there's multiple things that you can still do even without a metric certificate but if you are thinking about going back to school that's also another option to redo your metric year if you have to that's if you failed all your subjects but then if you had a few subjects that you did not do extremely well in you can um, rewrite your sub, uh, supplementary exams some and I think it's next year in Feb mm, is it next year Feb I'm just gonna check and confirm these stuff and then like put it like on the video, just edit and just put it there. So I'm just gonna check for you guys so that I give you accurate and you know, correct information. And you can also upgrade on certain marks like your mathematics marks. You can wait the whole year. Sometimes they have them in June. I know that sometimes it also, you can write in the final year. So there's just like various things that you can do that can improve your metric certificate or you can get a new certificate or just do something completely different like different like going into a TVET college and try and get a diploma or higher certificate there's multiple other things that you can do yeah and then for the ones that actually passed obviously well done to you congratulations uh everybody's proud of you it doesn't matter how many distinctions you get i wish somebody told me this it doesn't matter how many distinctions you get i have friends that got rejected at vets with five distinctions for medicine so it doesn't matter how many distinctions you get you really 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 need to understand that it doesn't matter like you know, uh, but if you did get a lot of distinctions, good for you, you're gonna get some money. That's the only difference. You're gonna get cash, you're gonna get money, like proper money from universities. Well, hmm, it depends on your university, but they do give out cash for distinctions. But anyway, like to be, before I lose my train of thought. So what I was alluding to is that just because you didn't get the amount of distinctions you want, you should focus more on the APA scores is it APS yeah APS scores uh those 40 43 whatever 13 something I know mine was 44 <laughs> just putting it out there <laughs> that's how I got into OT but anyway like you can get into various uh, degrees even with the 35 38 uh, APS score you can still make it into the degree like and just make the cut and just be open to being accepted by the university that you didn't apply to uh no man did I just say the university didn't apply to? I meant the university that you don't want to go to. For example, I did not see myself in the University of the Western Cape or in Cape Town entirely, but God was like, you are going there. But anyway, that's a whole different story on its own. So the biggest thing, why are you guys saying like that? See the people that are handling behind this camera. This is why I don't have cameramen, guys, because they just stay at the camera or look at me. I will, don't worry. Um, I was talking about getting into university. So yeah, like various uh, like streams. So if you applied for different universities and you applied for different things and you had like different um, options, you're most likely going to get a response for your first choice and then they're gonna tell you whether they wait, they wait list than you or they are declining your, your, you know, they're declining your application and then, <laughs> It's yeah, decline. It's decline. No, Oscar, stop, stop, stop it. Um, stop disturbing me, you people. 
anyway, so as I was still saying, right, uh, they're going to tell you whether they declined your offer, they waitlisted you, and they also accepted, you know, your, your application. And just so you know, most universities, those letters are not automatic registration at all, entirely. It's, it's charging. They're like, entirely. I'm not going to tell you my password. That's not going to happen. Okay, as I was still saying, right, I'm obviously not going to edit that out. I'm too lazy for that life. Uh, <laughs> this is going to be an unfiltered metric exam. <laughs> the minute I said unfiltered. Yes, Oscar, I'm still talking. So yeah, as I was still saying, right, so you're going to get those three different letters, but you still need to, obviously, if they give you an acceptance letter, you need to accept the offer. So when you accept the the, the offer, they reserve the space for you. So this is how people end up in the waiting list and how other people that are in the waiting list end up in the degree and you that received the acceptance letter does not, you know, that is because you took your time to accept the offer. You took your time to respond to university. So immediately, if it's like, obviously, it depends on how many universities you apply to. If you apply to five universities and you're still waiting for one letter, maybe from vets, they are always the people that I know that take their time to respond to people. They take their precious little time. But if you get it like as quick as possible, you just might as well accept the offer so just like look into the universities you want to go into and search really truly and pray about it obviously because this is a faith faith based channel so i would recommend that you pray and ask the lord to guide your steps because he directs us everywhere we go so just like pray into it and just find out what god is telling you about the degree itself and yeah if you feel like that's where the Lord is leading you, go ahead and accept the offer. Like the biggest part is don't wait too long. Like don't wait for more than three days to accept an offer because there are students in the waiting list that are waiting for you not to accept your offer at a specific university. That's how seats are taken and that's how you end up without a, a space. But you got accepted in all universities. But as long as you don't accept the offer, you must accept the offer, okay? Um, the other thing that I can also like give as like advice is accommodation. If you are looking for an area or you are moving like I did from Johannesburg to Cape Town all the way like that distance, make sure that you have accommodation and you have a place to go to um, when you arrive. And that, that, that means not the res. You need to have like a side area where you're going to pay for at least a week or something so you can sort out your residential staff specifically in certain universities the uwc university um the university of the western cape has its own accommodation issues and finally they're building unibal so hopefully things are going to turn out very well this year i feel so professional right now just wanted to point that out like with this camera it's like i see the vision of where this channel is going but anyway back to what i was talking about which is advice for you guys oh my word yeah just make sure you have accommodation like don't show up in a different area without having the right accommodation without you know phone the right people and ensure that you've been you, you, you were accepted at the university you're not on the waiting list like if you're going to be traveling for like a long distance i know in Joburg it's easier to like just move around the, the the universities because accommodation is affordable but in cape town accommodation is a little mm, so just take care of that stuff and make sure that you have somebody in that area that you can go to and can act as a buffer if something goes wrong with your accommodation and what else look out for like you know o week orientation week i don't know if you guys are gonna have that but that's, that's, that's too far too far too far that's for university advice i'll shoot a different video explaining that but right now it's matriculant advice so after you've accepted your offer accommodation all these things you generally just like that's that's the gist of it all and you get into the degree that you want to study make sure it's a degree you want to study not a degree mommy wants you to study not a degree dad wants you to study and i feel like there's so much noise but okay thank you so yeah that's like most of what i can say at the moment i hope you guys are gonna take my advice i'm gonna try to find out a little bit more information about in terms of upgrading your metric results in terms of supplementing your metric or redoing your metric entirely because some schools contact their you know the students that didn't do as well or that didn't make it and they you know they try and get them to rewrite so another thing
I'm in the middle of editing that video, right? Oh, well, this specific video. And then I realized that I was not going to edit it. Like, my plan was to make it unfiltered, whatnot. But then there were just some things I had to cut out. So, for the rest of the video, I'm not going to edit it out. <laughs> but whatever I've already edited is going to stay. <laughs> well, the last thing that I also like to say is, specifically to the students that did not... Um, what's the word, did not pass their metric. It is, once again, I said it is not the end of the world. There's still so many things that you can do. Even YouTube is a thing that you can do. Social media influencing, there's so much more now than then. And to, yeah, like your support group, be around people, like look for your friends, look for the people that are gonna like stand with you in this time, because it's very difficult to see other people progress in your life while you're being stuck in the same position. Take a gap year if you must. Oh, gap years, I forgot to talk about gap years. Definitely take a gap year if you must. <laughs> take a gap year if you must, but it's like there's just multiple things that you can do that can help you in all aspects. And I really hope that this video is as informative as I would have wanted it to be because I didn't want it to be just a fun we are uh video uh, and also I was not planning to shoot this video with a camera so I'm so thankful to Oscar even though he just left the room yeah it's his camera he must give me his camera don't you guys think so comment down in the comment section if I deserve a camera but anyway yeah that's all we have time for on this channel and i hope that the good lord may bless you and we believe that jesus christ is the way i think i did not say that that's why it's coming out now <laughs> but i do believe that jesus christ is the way and if like another thing that you can do like if you know because i know a lot of people speak about how like all of various aspects of health are important but spiritually like your spiritual health is very important so for some people going to church and serving and you know doing a year of Bible college. I wonder if you need a metric to do Bible college. Hmm. Ah, uh, that's weird. I don't, hmm. Actually never looked into it. <laughs> I will definitely do a video about Bible, Bible college. I wonder if you need like school. Well, but like it is school wise, so hmm. I don't, hmm, thing is I don't want to say things that are not truthful, so I'm just going to keep quiet, you know, not truthful, that's so fancy, <laughs> it's the camera and the microphone, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, like I enjoyed making it, as you can tell, and I hope that once again, it's not the end of the world, and there's still so much more that you can do. There's still a lot of other stuff and a lot of other options that I might not have mentioned in this video that you can get into. Like, don't fall into the whole narrative that it's over for you. Like, nothing else is going to ever get better. And yeah, I'm going to see you in my next video. A video. A video. Bye. Okay, now Oscar's not here. So how do I like turn off this stuff? I'm tired of talking. I wonder if my lips are still okay. Mm. Well, this is what happened. Can you still see me? I'm playing with the camera. This does not mean I stand for the LGBTQ. This is a covenant that the Lord made with us. He said that, well, with Noah, actually, he said that at the end of the rain, I will showcase my rainbow and I will remember my covenant with you that he will not destroy the earth with water again. That's why there's fire and that's why you need Jesus. <laughs> I don't even know if I'm on focus. I low-key feel like I'm not focused on it anymore. And I don't know where Oscar is, so I'm gonna keep talking to the camera because it's fun. Uh, 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 uh. Oh my word, no. I wanted to like do a, ooh. Okay, how come no one told me that my cross was behind me this whole time? Child, how come no one mentioned this? Hmm, hmm, well, yeah. Actually, this is so cute. It's the fact that I remembered this. So cool, um, yeah.
Wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Indigo is missing. Wait. It's red, yellow, blue, green, purple. Whew. Um, Oscar really needs to come back. I'm gonna find him. Well, I don't know. This is gonna be quite a quite a lengthy video because we don't know where Oscar is. And I'm special. Miss Cutie Pie. Well the mic is somewhere here, is it? Okay, I thought it was facing inward. Ha ha ha. So oh, by the way, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and yeah, like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in my YouTube video. <laughs> I'll see you in my next YouTube video. Um, follow me on my social media platforms at Lynn underscore Way on Instagram, Lynn Way on TikTok, literally Lynn Way on TikTok. And I think that's all. I don't have any other social media platforms. I don't like Twitter that much because it's for dragging people and counseling. Love you guys. Subscribe! Where's Oscar? Come and turn it off! Okay, finally find the man of the, ma of the moment. Come! Was it recording? Did it stop? I don't know. <laughs>